What's up, homies? Yes, we're going to break down best videos, do this, bad, don't do this, the good, the bad, the ugly, exactly how to grow your YouTube channel. Jackson Wilkie here with the Channel Junkies, and this is the boardroom. Now, if you're a newer real estate agent or you are brand new to video marketing, especially YouTube for real estate and generating leads, you probably don't want to watch this. This is going to make you probably not want to do it at all because we're going to get into advanced level teachings today. I've got a lot of questions, uh, especially recently. A lot of agents are struggling, like their channels are flatlining or they're dying. They're not getting as many leads. Um, the videos aren't getting as many views. So I'm going to actually go through kind of a daily, like a checklist of what I do. So I am consistently trying to, you know, grow these videos each and every time. Sometimes they do, sometimes they don't. But again, if you're just starting out with video marketing, trying to get leads from YouTube as a real estate agent, you probably don't want to watch this. So I'm actually going to go through my, my analytics today and I'm not here to boast about my analytics, to talk about, look at my impressions, look at my views, none of that. What I'm going to do, because everybody's got a baseline, everybody has a goal they're trying to reach with their channel, you're going to take this exact same recipe that I do. In fact, I just got off a coaching call with one of the agents that joined us at eXp. So I coached them up and he said, look, bro, I've been shooting all these videos. I've ran out of content ideas. Within 20 minutes by doing this exercise, he had a full plan. He's excited again. He can't wait to get out to go shooting and he's got a full list of new videos. So this is what we're going to be doing, breaking it down. I am on the dashboard of just one of my YouTube channels that I have. Um, again, I've, I've got 13 of them across the country, so there's a lot of this that I'm doing. Right out of the gate, you, you live in your dashboard to see how videos are performing. This is funny because this one right now is four out of 10, and if you don't know what that means, out of my last 10 videos, this is ranked 10. They rank that basically on views. Um, it's got almost 12,000 views. This this video is just six days old, so we got you know almost 12,000 views, and this was at number one, number two for a while, and so what it it's doing is it's actually starting to fall a little bit um, and, and drop. And what we can do is actually click on that. And you can see my top performing one uh, in the last 10 uploads is at 15,000. So why is this all important? Because we're going to figure out how to get back on track or, what, or what's working, what's not. Okay. If you want to get better, if you want more leads, if you want more people calling you, and as you're hearing it, I'm not talking about how to get more views, more subscribers. I want more home sales. I want more leads. This is how you do it. So what we need to do, we're going to bump over here to our analytics tab. And I, again, I wanted to show the um, dashboard because I, I live there a lot. I like to look at it. But these right here, we've got five tabs. This is what we're going to be cycling through today. Um, and so you can follow along with me with your channel. I highly recommend you, you watch this video, maybe pause it, take notes. Or you can, if you've got a separate screen, you can bring yours up with you. Uh, but you're going to want to resort back to this video a lot. So out of the gate, we are at the, it's going to go to the last 28 days. So in the last month, I'm actually down and this is okay. I'm, I'm over here. My typical range is, it looks like about 250 to 305,000 views a month. Um, and I used to be, you know, over in this range. So you're seeing me in a vulnerable state right now. This is, um, there's a reason for this. And it's actually, um, you know, something that's been quite the concern with dozens of, of agents that I've been coaching lately is they're not getting as many views. I have been doing this now. I think we're going on about six years. This channel alone is right at four years old. I think I started this in August, September of 20. Um, and it is now August of 24. So we're at a four year mark. This is my eighth YouTube channel. And the reason I bring all that up is because I've been through these kind of cyclical events. So the end of July, August, um, we typically see a downtrend in a lot of views. That is the very end of summer. People are squeezing in their vacations and people are trying to get them kiddos ready for school. They didn't quite make their plans happen of moving, relocating yet. And so some of you guys who got leads or calls and it was a couple months ago, they're all excited and then they kind of fell apart. Sometimes they're just getting their kids ready for school. They'll call back. So we're going to actually study. It was interesting. I was looking at this. If I go to the last 365, I've got some curvature here, you know, we're talking about some Kim Kardashian curves going on. And I was kind of clicking on these just to see, there's a big old booty curve. Um, what, what was going on with this? It was pretty interesting. 
And right here, if you look, this is a big downward and this is August, right? I'm in August right now, I'm in a, a downward. So if you've got data, you can kind of rest at ease that like we're kind of going through something here right now. Um, but it does look like it starts to peak right here. So this is um, September. So I'm kind of thinking, okay, now school's back in session. Maybe we get a little uptick, you know? I, I don't know what it is. And, and especially getting off of summer here in Texas, we already started school, but I'm starting to see the Facebook posts of all my friends in different states and they're just now going back. So that makes sense. That could give the parents a little bit of time to not be taking the kids to camps, to vacations. But you start to notice right here, look at, and that's probably more or less a, a, a viral video, obviously, a video that really performed well. But that also means that there's probably a lot more viewers on the platform. And as you see, it actually started back over here and went up. Now, as you see, this is a dash right in between December and October. So that's November. And that's one thing we've always talked about is, hey, get your videos ready, have great videos for the holidays. So I'm sure around Thanksgiving, if this is October 24th, that's December 23rd. That means this is November 23rd, 24th. You know, it could have been a time where everybody's got four to five days off of work and they are watching a lot of videos. So it was ramping up right there. And then yes, you do see the end December 25th, we're starting to ramp up to uh, the New Year's. New Year's is, okay, new year, new me, I'm gonna make that move happen. Just explaining this. Now, is this true exactly what happened? I don't know, but doing this for six years now on all my channels, I've noticed this up and down, and I coach agents consistently you know, throughout the years, and it's something that when everything's really good, they're, they're, they actually stop doing videos because they're so busy, and then all of a sudden, you go through one of these events or the channel starts to dip and it's like, oh my God, my channel stopped. Ah. Stay consistent. Do the checkpoints we're talking about today. You'll be all right. But I just wanted to let you know if you're going through a struggle right now, we're at the end of August, you may be seeing that. That's one reason. There's less and less people watching right now. But there's also stuff that we're going to go through that's probably a bigger indicator. And the big issue with real estate agents, I can't coach this out of them, is I'll just put something out there. Anything is better than, than nothing. I'll just, you know, blast, blast, blast. So I had a, a coaching call again with another agent um, and she was just like kind of stuck, didn't know what to do and just decided, you know what, I'm gonna just keep going back to my old titles, my old videos, I'm gonna turn the camera on in the studio and I'm just gonna get six, seven, eight of these things out. She said they all flatlined, none of them got any views, they're all dead. That's what I'm trying to talk about is don't try and dig yourself out of a hole by just putting a bunch of shitty content and short videos out there. Really work at putting out co uh, quality, right? So with this being said, um, if we scroll down, actually, I gotta remove all this stuff here. You can, you can get a pretty good insight again now of what the top performing videos in the last 28 days are. And this can kind of give you a little bit of a, if, if you look at this, you'll see patterns, right? So I've got, Obviously, video one, two, three, four. You can read that, okay? What I see right here, unfortunately, is that, that, and this is number 10. Those are all acreage videos. Those are all massive space. So in my market, three of my top 10 video, uh, performing videos in the last 28 days are, going, are, are basically acreage videos. It's just what works. Now, the other thing that I'm noticing, I do have one studio video in here. Don't move to Houston unless you can handle these 15 facts. Um, it is a studio video, but as you can see, I have a 29% average view duration. That is six minutes and 51 seconds. So it's, let's just round up to seven for easy numbers. And let's just say that's one third. You know, we've got, it's a little less than one third. So you got about a 22 to 24 minute video there, studio, and I'm keeping their attention pretty good. You're gonna notice one thing about me, people hit me up all the time. Well, I got these videos, Jackson, I'm doing what you say, and I have 50% watch time. How are these videos not blowing up? Look at my watch time. Now, it says average view duration, that's on the left. Percentage watched, right? They'll be like, they watched it for 50%. Well, I only got 16%, right? They only watched 16% of my video, but yet, in the last, and sorry, this is the last 365. Um, I was like, that's a big number. I've had that before, but we've got over a half a million views, right? Um, and so, I, and, and I don't want to zoom out a whole year and show it. Let's just, I'll, I'll show you what 28 days looks like as well. Um, if we clear, clear, because it's going to show the same thing. It's six, it's 70,000 views, and it's a 14.9% 
average view duration, so it's dipped even a little bit more. So how am I only getting a 15% average view duration, but this thing's getting 70,000 views in 28 days? Now we ain't fibbing, right? It's there. Hope you guys are seeing that. It looks pretty clear. Um, now, if you notice, there it is. There's the acreage. There's the acreage. There's the acreage. There's the acreage. Uh, we've got four of them in the top, right? Uh, four of them in the top five now pushing. So it's something that, you know, I started experimenting with. And guess what? You might be like, well, that means you need to be living out those. I don't because, again, what do I, I worry about? Home sales. So, yes, we've been selling some uh, home sales. We've been doing that. In fact, um, I don't even see it on here. Where is that video? Can't believe it's not a top 10 producer. Anyways, this is the funny thing. And you need to self-check not only your channel, but you got to talk to, if, if you got a real estate partner who's closing the deals, what's closing, right? And that's what I did. And we have another one that's not even in the top 10. And we've closed like four or five of those. And we shut the neighborhood down because we sent so many people to it. So I'm going to go do those kind of videos instead. These are what I'm learning. You know, um, a couple of these like this one here is just massive house, you know, it, massive custom. It's a multi-million dollar home. You're going to see this in your in your markets and these videos are going to have hundreds of thousands, if not millions of views. But we didn't sell anything, right? So it is great for garnering attention. And if I just went down that path, maybe we sell a couple of them here and there. But I'm into doing hundreds of home sales, right? And so we start going back and, and we're showcasing, you know, Look at Houston's most affordable, right? This is the one that we just released six days ago. It's a recent upload and it's in my uh, top seven videos, you know, in if 28 days. So in one week, it's already in the top seven, meaning it's going to start going up. And this one, we actually have a couple clients going to that um, neighborhood and three of the sales reps called us and said you guys have been flooding this area but that's the thing we made the relationship I talked about the partnership you know in in the last video but uh, we made relationships with sales reps and so they're calling hey Jojo you know thank you so much for that video we're getting a lot of people we're gonna make sure we write you down if they go into contract yada yada so that's really important but I just wanted to show you that people hit me up all the time and sorry if this is just how I'm going to be teaching you know I'm, I'm calling this the boardroom um, we're going to break this stuff down really in detail so it's very structured but I get a lot of hey mine's 50 percent why doesn't it grow because my videos are longer so even if you have a 50 percent uh, watch time but your video you know is six minutes long that means you're only getting a three minute ABD right that is why you're not getting a lot of views. Now, you might look at it and go, well, it's dominating in search. It's ranking number one in search or two in search, right? That means that, okay, your SEO is good, right? But your length of the video sucks. And so they're going to recommend me out there to the masses, you know, 80 plus percent of my views, 85, maybe 90 percent of my views come from suggested and browse. I don't even really give a shit about ranking anymore because I know the power of good long videos on the YouTube algorithm platform. Again, this is why if you're a newer agent, I hope you're not watching this because it's going to, you know, completely confuse you. You need to take the baby steps like we have our core program. That's basically how to create the channel, how to optimize it, all your settings, um, all your titles, how to do every single customization from your channel art. That way, Everybody knows what your channel is about. You get the ultimate subscribers. You actually start generating leads and the videos to start with to get your reps. And you can shoot me an email, but we're, we're calling that our Channel Junkie Academy. So that is our course program plus coaching with me. Um, and then if you want to scale it up, we have full service. But not here to sell any of that. I'm just here to inform you that, again, if you're newer or you're struggling or you, you need to know where to get started, we have our uh, Channel Junkie Academy. Hit me up anytime about that. And again, if you join us at EXP, um, if you're not at EXP Realty already, then I give you all of that for free. That is the bonus of joining us. But you have to really be mindful when you're looking at your channel, where your average view durations, your watch time, all of that stuff is coming from and what it means. So I've got these really long average view durations, and that is why you know, you get an accelerated growth. And that is something that took me a long time, but let's move on, right? We've got content tab. So we're gonna work through these tabs. And what this did is it's uh, 28 days, okay? And we have, I'm um, down, right? But I look at that as seasonality. My videos are getting better and better, but seasonality, everything's a little bit down. 
Uh, my click-through rate, 4.2. A lot of you guys ask me questions about click-through rates, and you may have a higher one. You may have six, seven, eight percent. But again, look, if we compare impressions to impressions of your channel versus mine, we're gonna probably notice that this one has a lot more impressions. So when a video is very long, an hour long, 45 minutes long, and you're getting an average view duration of 12, 13, like I love getting my videos um, at least 50 minutes long to an hour and getting that average view duration from 12 and a half to 13 and a half minutes. Yes, I know my data, my numbers better than anybody on the planet when it comes to YouTube for real estate. That is when I know I've got great, great videos. They're going to uh, really perform well. And my average view durations, when I launch my first hour, okay, I watch. As soon as it launches, I'm watching first hour, first four hours, you know, first day. But right out of the gate, I'm really looking for that like 11% to 15 plus. Uh, sometimes that gets up to 20. And that is a good gauge for me knowing that, okay, if I'm getting this out of my first couple hours, then my thumbnail, my title is good. If I launch it and it's like at 8%, then I'm like, shit, I gotta do something. So yes, in the first hour, I'm probably gonna go into that video and I'm gonna tweak that thumbnail, tweak that title because I'm trying to get this back up over here to this number, okay? Now, you're like, how do you get a 4.2? Well, over time, as these videos get out there and get hundreds of thousands, if not millions of impressions, because my, and, and I know this is long-winded, but because my average view durations are so long, I'm getting suggested and browse traffic. You're typically gonna get higher click-through rates on search traffic. So if you have really short videos, but they have great SEO and they rank, you're only gonna get search views. And those search views typically get higher click-through rates. Browse and suggested typically get considerably lower. Um, so starting out with browse and suggested, 11 to 15% is great. And finalizing, like, like my last video, it's at, I believe, let's see what it's at, um, 5.3, and that is up, okay? So that's a really good number for me, but this one started, I wanna say it was in that like 13 percentile, okay? So let's go back, um, let's clear this, and I hear my four-year-old coming, what's up, Rip Daddy, what you doing? I'm coaching, you wanna just lay down with me? Or lay down with the doggies? Okay, so content tab, we're gonna work through this. This is gonna start giving us ideas. As you can see here, this is really important. Actually, this might be one of the most important lessons that I give in this whole thing, is the key moments for audience retention in the first 30 seconds. So I will come back, and I don't do this enough, I really should, and watch these, right? There's something in these videos that is keeping people's attention. These are my top five performing videos in the first 30 seconds. And if you can see this graph here, I am up above. That is my norm down there. So you're going to get drop off, right? Especially if your videos are really long um, and YouTube likes them, they're gonna recommend them out to a ton of people that may not like that content and they're gonna jump off. But once you set your median, you know, if you can be above that bar like this video is, this is my top performing. And as you can see here, look at that. Once I grab them here, it is a flat line. I am keeping people to the very end of my video that is 42 minutes long. And this is a short video for me, right? So that is really good numbers. And what we got to do is click on this. That's right. I am in the number one place to live in the United States of America. And I just walked out of one of the biggest, most affordable houses that you will find. In fact, in today's video, we're not only going to showcase this home by Toll Brothers, but two more massive new construction homes down here. So we got three of the most beautiful houses that you're going to find in Houston, Texas at crazy affordable prices. And you're going to vote which one you like best. But we're also going to talk about this area and why this zip code is now rated as the number one place to live in America. If you want to see some of the most gorgeous houses, top-notch master plan community in all of the country, you're not going to want to miss this video. But first of all, we're going to walk down here and we're going to go check out house number one. Remarkable. These are three completely different floor plans, so you're going to be able to see three completely different styles and vote on which one you like best. But we're also going to be going up in price point and wait till you see up above that peak right there. Something you've never seen in a house ever before. All right, here we are again. So, okay. That was basically a one minute intro, but I got rid of my calls to action that I used to teach, but sometimes I impress myself because that had like five hooks in it, right? So I almost want to sit here and just rewatch this whole video. And I didn't plan this guys. I'm just, I was going through this to get some more ideas and I was like, I should film what I'm doing. That had incredible hooks. One, did you hear the number one 
place in America to live to up above that peak. You know, what you're seeing at the top of that house is something you've never seen before. Three, right? You guys need to vote. So I'm giving them a game that makes it a lot of fun. They do, they comment a lot. That brings up engagement. Engagement is a huge factor towards your videos, getting more recommendations. These are all things that I have learned after doing thousands and thousands of videos. And these intros, I'm trying to hook them so hard. So you might be asking, how Jackson, how do you choose, or how do you make this the greatest place to live in America? Well, if you go online, <laughs> you can basically find these articles about any city in America, right? But um, there was a re there was a, an article that hit me and it just accidentally popped up on like my Google, you know, when I was at Google and these blogs show up and it was like top ranked uh, zip code in America. And it was just by like home sales or some kind of statistic that they went by. And it was in Cypress, it was right here. In fact, it wasn't even this exact neighborhood, but I was able to bring up in this video. Now you, you're asking why it's the number one and I brought up the article and I'm like, is it the perfect spot for you? I don't know. That's what we do is we help you find the perfect spot. But yes, according to this, because of these data, that data, that this is one of the top places to live in America. So that really helps. It's uh, America's new number one place. That's how I was able to get it in the title because I found an article that said it, right? So all of those together keep this up. And it's a very strong indicator to YouTube that this is a good performing video. And so, you know, this thing keeping the attention for a long time, hey, I just learned a ton, did you? Comment down below, just say thanks homie for these videos. If you're liking these style of videos, just say keep them coming, whatever. Just comment down below, keep them coming. And you also, you guys need to, like I'm almost getting upset with you because I'm all hundreds and hundreds of you watching and I haven't even gotten a question yet. So info at jacksonwilkie.com. Send me your questions or comment the questions down below and I will answer them on here. If you do, no, go. Hey, I don't ever want to see that again. That's so mean. He's, he's playing with you. Don't hit. How much trouble have you gotten into for hitting people? I heard that. You okay? Okay, go upstairs. Go watch your show. Please. And again, if you ever want just that step-by-step -step process of exactly how to do this correctly and coaching with me in our channel, Junkie Academy, just shoot me an email at the same spot, info at jacksonwilkie.com. So you can do the same things. You know, you can click on a lot of these other ones that have very low ones. Like they have super low. See how I drop way down if I clear this? I need to see, you know, what's up with this one, but it just drops straight down. And then it flatlines pretty good, but there's something in this video. And one, this video isn't that That's long. That's right. We have actually found houses that are under $200,000. And the beautiful part is I-59 is right there. The 99 tollway was right there. The Valley Ranch Shopping Center is just minutes away. And you are right next to the Bush International Airport. You do not have to go hours outside of Houston to find houses, but even better, this is an entire neighborhood of even two-story, 2,200 square foot homes, and none of them are over $300,000. So what we're gonna be doing is showing you the biggest houses you can get in this neighborhood for under 300,000, and at the end, we will go into these houses and show you what $190,000 will get you in Houston, Texas. What's up, everybody? Jackson Wilkie with the original right here. This is what's killing me. Texas team. We're gonna not only show you this house coming up, but five different houses very quickly, and none of them are over three hundred thousand dollars. But the only reason you're hearing me or seeing me right now is because we keep mentioning, "Hey, we're going into the biggest house. This is the biggest house." Well, when we were talking to the sales reps, they kept saying, "This is the biggest floor plan." Well, what they meant was for the single level. There's actually a bunch of two-story houses here that are over twenty-two hundred square feet, and they do not go over over $300,000. So what we're gonna do is go into the biggest floor plan for a single level home. Jojo, let's get after it. All right, here we are again. Okay, so I have to be on, you know, that's why I love the data, it doesn't lie. By doing that little quick studio and trying to explain myself, it just dropped, right? So I may have been able to stop them a little higher up here had I just gotten into the house. The other thing that it just tells me, because I did a couple of the most affordable homes and one of them went crazy, um, and I try to kind of duplicate that. I think when they see that little house there, they're like, eh, don't want it, right? Some people do, but I think that, and then maybe, you know, that builder there, won't say the name, 
it could just be throwing people off like i don't really care you know like that's just they're cheap i don't want those homes i i don't know but there's something about that right and so the things i'm going to take away from that is one i'm not going to jump to the studio like that for 15 20 30 seconds again my thumbnail shows something i need to get into it right away um if i were to go here there's a big spike up my guess is text email phone calls that said hey i just need a two-bedroom house Three bedroom, right around $220,000, okay. 25000 with incentives. So that makes However, sense, and that's what I figured it was. I didn't watch this again, but there's a big, like it kind of flatlines, and then it comes up right here, okay? That means that most people are probably like, okay, all I want to do is I want to see that, okay? I'm doing the best I can to keep that at the end of the video to keep the watch time. In fact, they only watch it for a little bit, and then it drops off. Do you remember my other ones? They stopped up above my normal line and they finish above my up here. This one's down down really low. So they also saw it, they went inside. They're not big fans, uh, but they're also probably skipping through my video. And then this video is also only 28 minutes long. So it's just not getting the views that some of my other ones do. All of that is just good insight. I need to go longer. Um, I just don't think by doing these type of homes that my audience really likes it. I need to stay more, you know, up with the, the bigger new construction homes by the, the, the better builders. And, and that's how my channel grows. So by coming in here, you can watch a bunch of these and then you just take a couple notes per video. These ones, I'm going to take a bunch of notes, man, I did that. I did this. I did that. Whatever it was. And you, you kept people's attention. Great. Okay. These ones I'm going to watch. All right. I need to get rid of that. They saw this on the thumbnail and I didn't deliver it until, you know, minute marker 2229, right? So it took a long time to, to get there. So um, those are all things that, that we've just, you know, learned from watching. Next up, audience. Um, this I don't really do too much in. Um, it can show you some videos that are really, you know, going big. A lot of them are yours or they're your, you know, obviously your competitors. But again, this is something that I stray away from. Uh, a lot of you are gonna spend a lot of time on like what your audience watches, and you may grab one of these videos and try to go duplicate it. I hate that. So I'm actually trying to not look at these as much as possible so that I don't go emulate or duplicate anything that they did. I want to make sure my videos every single week. Now, even if, let's say one of my competitors or one of my students, most of these are my students, have done the video already and I go do it, at least in my mindset, I don't know anything about that. And I can go into it with a neutral mind. I can you know, go in with an original mind and I can do my own video. But you also can look here, this is everybody goes, Jackson, when should I post? If you look at the data, so the darker the purple here, the better. And I've got a pretty good audience and doing this for six years now, I've told everybody nights or afternoons and weekends are always the best and it just hasn't lied. You know, and, and Sunday here starting at about 8 a.m. all the way till, you know, 11, 12 o'clock at night. I've got a pretty, oops, I got a pretty good window there. Um, and then you see on Saturday, it's, it's about the same. Now, I don't typically, I feel like people are doing more on, on Saturdays, but, you know, this shows my audience, but I just personally think that, you know, um, these, these afternoons work better. People are, you know, getting through the work week. But if I'm launching two videos a week, I'm typically going to do something like, you know, probably like a Friday at 4 or 5 p.m. And then, you know, like a Saturday morning or a Sunday morning or something like that. But again, the most important thing, people go, Jackson, what's the best time to post a video? If I've learned anything, I've created my weekly show and it's at the exact time. Now, some of you are going, when's yours, Jackson? I wanted to copy that dumbest thing you can do, right? Let's think about this in the sense of like you're watching TV back in the day when we had TV and your favorite show is on at, you know, the Sunday night at 7 p.m. and there's a new show that's coming out. Do they want to compete with the top producing show out there Sunday at 7 or are they going to find a different day and time, right? And they also say, um, and I heard this from 50 Cent when he was doing his TV show that Saturdays are the worst days for shows because everybody's out at the club, everybody's drinking, everybody's hanging out, doing whatever. And they actually tried to blackball him and do his shows on Saturday. And people, they learned, they started to stay in just to watch his show, which was really cool. But what does that tell you? He went against the grain, he scheduled a day and time, and he changed everything. So find a day and a time that works best for you, that you can be consistent and talk about it in every video. And if you have somebody in your market already doing a certain day and time, change yours, do it at a different time. So 
for all you Houston people, I know you guys watch everything I do, it's pretty dumb if you're posting your videos at the same time I am because they're all locked in to watch me. 68.5% of my views are coming from the television set. They want to watch my channel first and then they'll watch you. And if they like you better, then they're going to call you. But if we're at the same time, you may get drowned it out. Does that make sense? I hope it does. Hit the like button if any of this stuff is helping you. <clears throat> we don't really need to go through too much more of this revenue, obviously. Um, you can see this channel actually does pretty good and you can see the months, you know, uh, springtime when we are killing it with sales and views and all that big time, right? So, and this is only half because we're, we're halfway through the, uh, the month, but pretty cool when you go long. Now I get, um, combated all the time from marketers and agents and YouTube shorts and Instagram reels and TikTok. It is the world. May I get millions of views. Have you ever done a YouTube short and gotten hundreds of thousands or millions of views? You might make 60 cents on that thing. YouTube knows it. They're just trying to steal traffic and then they want you to watch long form advertising. They can't make any money off it, so they're not going to put it out there. Long form organic. This video in just the past 28 days, which is only a couple weeks, not 28 days, 260 bucks on one video. You know what I mean? 4,000, 3,700, 3,727. So you can actually pay for all of your marketing costs, editing costs, and actually make a little bit of money, right? If you if you can lower your, your costs there, or you could have our channel junkies where we actually do all your management for you, your editing, uploading, titles, tags, descriptions, coaching, everything paid for if you do good stuff. So now one last thing I wanted to do, we're doing pretty good on time. I wanted to go back to the content tab because we weren't quite done with that. We got to scroll. So this is a good section that we already went through, but below that you can actually start to see um, how viewers are finding your videos. And just like I told you right here, suggested in browse. So this is the last 28. I would, if I were you, I'd be striving to try and get these numbers up. If you do the math there, that is 78, 79 just about 80% coming from browse and suggested. I've only got 11% of my views coming from search. And the good news about that, I don't know if it allows me to click on it. I can get to it another way, but my search is probably not small cities and suburbs uh, in ranking. It's probably Houston, you know, or living in Houston. So other than that, yeah, you're going to get random stuff. Ch you know, channel pages is mine, but director unknown and, you know, external. Let's check that Google search. 34% of my views are coming from Google search. No, that's not true. Only 0.9% of my traffic of, of my entire YouTube channel is coming from external. And out of that 0.9%, 34% is coming from, so point whatever, point three, you know, zero three or point three percent is coming from external. People go, how do I, you know, why do, should I do chapters? No, it's, it's a waste of time. People skip. Oh, but it makes you rank at Google. I don't give a shit if it does or not. I don't care about that. My videos rank there anyways, and they get clicked. It brings them to my channel, but I don't care about any external source. I don't care about sharing it. In fact, if you know me, do not share your videos. Don't worry about anything. Don't try and optimize a video or share it or do anything to get external views by you sharing it, by you paying, or by getting to Google. You want to be on YouTube suggested, right? Browse, that's the big thing. It does start if you're a newer agent and you're still watching, even though I told you not to. You gotta start with search terms. You just gotta start with keywords. You've got to be able to get those videos out there and start getting some of that audience, you know, and then you go longer and longer. But yep, just like I, I thought, YouTube search, we've got big keywords. In fact, that was a huge thing that I was getting away from a couple years ago was I was doing smaller suburbs and stuff and uh, just trying to, you know, pick at each one little by little. And it's funny because, you know, you'll get competitors that I, that, teach my stuff that came through my pro and they teach this like rank for every city. It's what I used to teach four years ago. They haven't caught up on the times, but it actually makes your chim channel kind of get limited. So I go after the big stuff. But if you look what's in every one of them, Houston, 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 and Texas homes for sale. So that actually gives me an idea right there. I didn't even think about that, but, um, and I do Houston, Texas homes for sale, massive homes, whatever it is. But there is a search term that I have never used in a title, Texas homes for sale. And I know half of you guys are probably going to take that, steal that. That's fine. But um, yeah, that's a big chunk. But if you can see the top drivers are all Houston, that's where I want to be. I want to be in the big thing because any of you that are not from Houston, you're probably, if, you know, if you had to move here tomorrow, you're going to be searching best areas to live in Houston. But you, you're sitting in your local, you know, and you're like, oh, what about Polk County? And what about Clark County? Nobody knows counties. Nobody knows these little cities. So doing little videos like that are never going to get washed. Dominate your big city. 
Do it with your own show at your own time. Don't sound like anybody else. Create your own style and attract your ideal audience. Then you'll never care about what any of your competition is doing. So I'm gonna be breaking this down in the boardroom. Email me info at jacksonwilkie.com your questions and I will break it down in the boardroom in more detail than you'll find anywhere in the world, homies. And if you're just like, Jackson, you know what? I need you, I need Jesse, I need to scale my business and grow it. Let me know about this partnership and what it entails. Hey, it may be a fit, it may not. Shoot me an email at the same uh, email address and just say, I need to know about this partnership. All of our courses and academies, free coaching, and we scale your business. You join us at eXp Realty and all of that comes true for free. And if you didn't see my last boardroom video, it is right here. We actually break down how to find a partner. If you are not a good video shooter and you wanna find one, or vice versa, if you're like me, you're great at shooting videos and you're terrible at real estate, I break down exactly how you can grow that partnership. It is right here in full free detail.